Today I'm trying out these Amazon clip in extensions and a yakky texture on my hair. This is the 16 inch in length, very like wifey type hair. And I will be showing you guys how to make your clip ins versatile and pretty much like a, you'll be able to do a bun, ponytail, side part, all that good stuff. So keep on watching. So I'm starting off with freshly silk pressed and washed hair. This is my hair after I've flat ironed it, blow dried it, all that good stuff. These clip-ins are from Lachey Hair. This is 100% Remy hair, um, yakky texture. So it's a little bit thicker, which I feel like will give you one more volume and two, like it matches my natural hair a little bit better. Um, I am relaxed, but it's been about five months since I did a touch up. So I'm a little bit in between here. It comes with, you know, the one size clip, two, three, and four um, size clips. And I had two packs of these. You can totally get through like one head with just one pack, but if you want them to be fuller, then you can use two. I only use like one and a half, one and a quarter of packs. So for it to be a little bit more versatile, you want to leave hair around the sides out. So I'm starting up like in the middle of where my ear would start at pretty much in the back. And this is the section that I made. All my hair that I sectioned out, all that hair is gonna be out. So I'll be able to pull it up in a ponytail or a bun. And then I put my first clip in section in. This is a three clip section. And then I'll go ahead and make another section of hair. When you are sectioning your hair, you just wanna put enough hair to cover up the track and then um, be able to clip another clip in section in there. You don't want them too close or you will not be able to like actually adhere them to your scalp. These are seamless clip in extensions. So they kind of mimic like tape ins, they're a lot flatter. So when you go to put your hair on top, you will not be able to see the clips at all. And once I made that section, the next one, I went in with another section of clip ins. I'm using another three piece section. I tried to use like the smaller sections so they wouldn't go all the way around the circumference of my head. Like I didn't want them to come all the way around the sides because we're trying to make this versatile. Pretty much the perimeter of your head, you do not want any clip-ins to touch. So that's in the front and then the back and on the sides. So you'll be able to pull your hair up in a ponytail, bun, half up, half down, all of that. So at this point, this is my third clip-in section and I am sectioning all the way around my head onto the sides. And this is the only one that I've done this on and just making sure that my parts are clean in the front. In the back, I really don't care because I can't see, but in the front, I care because I be feeling my hair pulling and all that and I just don't want to deal with that. I'm very, very tender-headed. So for this section, I decided to do two three piece sections. So I did one on one side and one on the other side. I did not put a section in the middle. I just let the two clip ins like touch each other in the middle pretty much because I didn't want them to wrap all the way around my head. I needed still to be able to have that little piece of hair on the perimeter out so I can pull it up. I'm always checking throughout this install like if my hair on the ends by my ears in the front, if it's gonna cover the tracks up so it will maintain like, you know, the seamless look on my ponytail. So putting in clip-ins is just very repetitive. You're making the same sections over and over until you get to the top of the head. So I'm just gonna go ahead and continue to do the same steps. For the next two sections, I am using the three-piece clip-ins and I'm putting them in the middle and just leaving the sides out again so we can be able to pull this up into a ponytail.
So once I got to the top, I am going in with my one piece clips. I actually ran out of the one piece clips. You only get four if you're gonna get two packs or two in one pack of clip-ins. So I did take a two piece section and cut it in half to create more of those smaller pieces. And that completely finished the look. I started off with the middle part and I was able to see um, if I had enough, if it was full enough to me. And again, like I said, I didn't use the whole full two packs because I wanted it to be versatile. If you don't care about pulling it up and all of that, then you can use more more if you want more fullness but I really wasn't worried about that I already naturally have like full hair but as you can see I'm able to pull the hair back and you can't see any of the tracks or any of the clips in the front I just wanted to cut the clip ends right where my hair ended so it wouldn't be like a big transition from my hair to the clip ends and it kind of flowed together a little bit more naturally so soft layers in the front and um that was pretty much it i was too scared to do heavier layers because i did not want to cut my own hair i don't know how the girls do it with the tape ends and they do that but i'm too scared to cut my hair so i wasn't going to do that I feel like naturally they just kind of look like they're in layers even though that they're not. I'm able to get a nice ponytail from this. Um, I showed you guys a few different styles that you'll be able to do a ponytail, bun, claw clip, half up, half down. And I did end up turning this to the side and doing a side part. So I did not rearrange my clip ins for that. I just did my part on this side. There was only one clip in the front, like a one piece section that I did just flip over to the other side. So it would all flow together and that was it. I did not have to rearrange my whole head to change the part. And for my end style, I did go ahead and add like some curls and I put them in the sock curls. If y'all are interested in seeing how I did that, let me know. It's something that I seen on TikTok and it just kind of like gives you that blowout look without a whole bunch of work. So I did do that and combed out my curls with my hands and the comb just back and forth between the two to see which one I liked better. And this gives you like a lot, a lot, a lot of volume and I really loved how this came out. I liked the side part better, so I did switch it over to the side part. The only thing that I really had to deal with with this hair was that my curls did fall pretty fast, so just keep in mind like the products you need to use to make your curls last a little bit longer. It did curl nicely, but it just didn't hold for a super long time. But that's it. Let me know if you guys want an updated silk press tutorial. All the details to this hair will be in my description box below.